Welcome to another Pseudo Show Labs. Today we're going to dive into NAN. NAN is a workflow automation tool similar to Zapier and similar tools. However, NAN is open source for the community edition and source available for the enterprise edition. NAN can be self-hosted and has over 200 integrations. NAN is a great tool to quickly automate workflows and it is easy to use as similar tools. But you need to get your own API keys and tokens from the various services that you want to use with NAN, such as Google, Microsoft, GitHub, and Trello, and others when you do self-host a solution. NAN can be deployed directly on your operating system, or you can deploy it as a container on Docker or Podman. I decided to build my own container for NAN based on the Fedora 38 container image, and I put it on top of Podman on a Fedora 38 instance on Linode. Linode is now Akamai Connected Cloud, a massively distributed edge cloud, so you can get your applications closer to your users. Deploy new applications you built, deploy vendor or open source solutions like NAN, or a wide variety of solutions from Linode's application marketplace. Check it out at linode.com tux, or click the link in the description below. I'm always looking at ways to automate repetitive tasks. I've written Bash, Python, and Ruby scripts to accomplish that automation. Now, as well as those scripts work, I'm always looking at simplifying that automation and building new automation quickly with little or no code. For example, I've rewritten a lot of that automation in Ansible. Now, NAN has a few more capabilities to make automation easier. It has tons of built-in modules to integrate with third-party applications and do data transformation, which makes moving data between different systems easier. When I implemented NAN, I started looking at things I could automate quickly. A task I've been meaning to get to is helping Michael move the back catalog of podcasts to the Tux Digital website from the old destination Linux network website. NAN allows me to pull the RSS feed and only pull the information that I need to use. As you can see here, I've pulled the pseudo show RSS feed. There's a lot of information here I don't need. When I put it into Ctable, which is a partially open source uh, solution based on C file, I can then take the data that I want to maybe manipulate or transform before I put, publish it on the website. All I really want is the episode name, the date it was published, and the episode description and the show notes if they were published on Fireside, where we host most of our podcasts. Now, if there's really nothing I want to do with this data, I can then go ahead and enable the WordPress plugin, enter my credentials, and create a new post for all the backlog that I want to publish on the Tux Digital website. One of the things I noticed inside of NAN, and I believe it was in a fairly recent update, it added an integration for Home Assistant. I went right to figuring out what I could do with this. One of the things that has been frustrating for me is getting proper notifications when an update for Home Assistant is available. What I had NAN do is schedule, I have on a schedule trigger, this right here is a kind of a test workflow just to see how everything would work and I'm just having it execute the next workflow regardless if it's available for an update or not. When I enable this, it gets the Home Assistant state for say the Home Assistant Supervisor Service, or in this case, the Home Assistant Core Services. And, and lastly, the Home Assistant Operating System. Now I'm running, you know, and I'm running this currently on a Raspberry Pi. Basically what I'm at having it do is if 
true right to a table. If false, in this case, I'm also having it right to it. It's a different table inside of C table, and that'll go away after I perfect the after I perfect the workflow that I really want, and it will end here. Once it gets created on here, execute another workflow, and that workflow is going to, my goal with that workflow is going to be to execute an Ansible playbook to automatically update Home Assistant, or at the very least, notify me, and then allow me to manually execute the workflow to execute an Ansible playbook to automate Home Assistant. NAN is extremely extensible. There's a community building extensions and you can go and join that community and help build more extensions and integrations. You can also use the generic ones like uh, the webhook integration to make it work for any use case you'd like. Whether you're solving something at home for your home automation or for just streamlining your, your workflow or in your business, so moving data between different systems. NAN is really powerful and I'm planning on using it more with Home Assistant, with Nextcloud, and automating more of the workflow for Pseudo Show. Head on over to the Text to Digital Forum and let us know what you do with it. There's an affiliate link down below for NAN if you decide to sign up for their cloud service. If you do decide to use NAN in the cloud, please make sure to use the link in the description below. Or if you decide to self-host it, make sure to deploy it on top of Linode and use the link below to sign up to let them know that we sent you. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out the video around mist.io. It is a very different automation solution for because it's focused on infrastructure versus at reacting to data and events. But it can help you automate and deploy workloads in your private or public cloud environment.